The King's Royal is one of the biggest races on the world of outlaws. Donnie Schatz is now a winner of the race for the sixth time in his career. It has to be one of the coolest trophy presentations in all of motorsports. The race winner is crowned the king and you wear the trophy. Shots is now only one King's Royal victory away from the guy known as the king, Steve Kinzer. Work on the Ford engine program. It's been an ongoing battle. It's hard to put your put your hands around the whole engine program unless you're into it uh, every day even when you are you know we race 85 90 times a year and you're trying to this is you need to get this freshened up and then you throw in the the fact that it's hard to get things right now you can't just call up um you can't call up a manufacturer and say hey i need this cam or i need you to build me a set of gaskets like this and they look at you and go well oh, we can have them by october 15th also unique about the King's Royal win, they decided to use a car with a two-year-old motor and it won the $175,000 first place prize. Next big race for the Outlaws is the Knoxville Nationals next month. Donnie already won 11 of those. The Hot Tots are on a two-game win streak, trying to break the franchise record with three in a row tonight. St. Cloud is in town. Bottom of the first, Tots newcomer Max Lucas rips a fastball to right. Two runs score, and the throw went out of play, so a bonus run makes it 3-0 Minot after one. Into the second inning with a runner on first, ground ball hit over to third base, to second base, to first base. Rocks perfectly executed double play ends it. Third inning, St. Cloud scored on a couple of bases, loaded walks. Ugh. Ducks still on the pond, base hit out to left, brings in two more runs, and Minot never recovered from the seven runs against them in the third inning. Same time, same team, same place tomorrow. Not to come off as a downer, but summer is slipping by. We're three days from the state fair. Another sign you might be running out of days on the lake. It's Legion Baseball District Tournament time. In Burlington, a rematch of last year's district championship, Renville County vs. Surrey. Joe Savico graduated last year, playing for Alexandria College in Minnesota this past year, dealing with the Muskrats. Joe didn't allow a hit through the first five innings. He was a strikeout machine. Kikoa Munoz, he's on the roster for the Minot State baseball team, broke that no-hitter in the fifth inning, but no run score. Renville ahead by six, no score for Surrey. Top of the sixth, Walker Broughton from West Hope. Base hit into center field. Kellen Henry unhooks the trailer, scores all the way from second base. Scrats go up seven to none, and that hit sets the table for Joe Savocal. Off speed, hangs in the middle of the zone, and it is smacked over the fence in left field. Two-run shot for Savocal, plus 10 strikeouts from the mound. They'll play Burlington tomorrow. That game is at 1.30 after Kenmare and Surrey play in an elimination game. Burlington is the one seed, so they've only played one game so far. It was a 10-0 win over Kenmare. District 3 tournament is in rugby. Kandu is the one seed and had a bye yesterday. Now they're playing the host team. No runs until the third inning. Kandu's Zach Jordy smacked into center field. Parker Simon scores, and the Bearcats are on the board first. More runs score on an error. Now Jack Alberg steps in for Kandu. Jack hits another hard hit ball into the outfield. This one is enough to bring Hunter Hagler home. Makes the score 6-0 to zero in favor of the Kandu Bearcats. Tatum Rizavi comes in to pitch for rugby. Rizavi nabs a strikeout to stop the damage. Bearcats didn't score another run the rest of the game, but... Defense was still solid. This ball is a grounder hit to Dane Hagler at short. Dane tags second base, throws to Brett Dilly at first, completes the double play. Rugby scores a few, but Kandu holds him off. Bearcats will play Rala tomorrow. After that game, Rugby and Botno will play in an elimination game. Winner of that game will play the loser of Kandu versus Rala for a chance at the championship on Thursday. Just one team goes to the next week's state tournament from the region in Carrington. Looking forward to it. We'll be right back.